the modulus function um, is also known as the absolute value. And what you have is a graph starting off with looking like this. So we put these straight line, uh, vertical line brackets around the x. And what we would say is that y is equal mod x, or the modulus of x. And as I said, it could, is also written as the absolute value of x. Okay. And what it means is, is kind of telling you uh, the length of x, the magnitude of x. So if I put in a negative number, for example, like minus 2, between the modular signs, what it does is it makes the number positive. So all values that go into the modular sign will come out as positive. So any um, positive number that goes in will also come out as positive. So any real number going through this process will come out as positive at the end, regardless of whether it started as positive or negative. So this has uh, an effect upon the shape of the graph that is drawn. So if we're looking at y is equal to mod x, for example, then what we can do is we can just plot a few points just to see what's going on. So if we start at minus 2, we can have minus 1, 0, 1, and 2. The modulus of minus 2 is 2. The modulus of minus 1 is 1 then 0, then 1, then 2. OK, so what we have is a graph that is at 0, 0, is at 1, 1, is at 2, 2. It's also at minus 1, 1, and it's also at minus 2, 2. OK, so what you get is this V shape. OK, and this is Y is equal to the modulus of X. OK, so effectively what you originally had was the line y equals x, which is a diagonal line that goes through the origin like so, except that this part of the graph, so that part there, has been reflected up in the x-axis. OK, so everything that was below the x-axis has been reflected up in the x-axis. OK, and this is what is true of putting modular signs around a graph in general. And we're going to investigate some more of these in the coming videos.